Hello, everybody. Welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me today on Wednesday, June the 1st. We are into June, folks. Hallelujah. Let the summertime roll. Anyway, thank you for joining me today, guys, as we continue to go through these daily devotionals. Um, staying strong from our daily bread, 365 devotions says four men by men. I've said it repeatedly. I'll continue to say it. Genesis 1, 26 and 27 clearly states that man is male and female. So these are for everybody. God does not see male and female, Jew or Greek, slave or free, none of that anymore. He sees us all the same, guys. So anyway, today's title is Einstein and Jesus. Einstein and Jesus. I love that title. I can't wait to see what this has got to say. In our study scriptures, now I did, of course, I didn't know what the background. I did see what our study verse was. It jumped out, so that's what our background is. I'm trying to get my head out of the way there a little bit, folks. But uh, anyway, our study scripture today is John chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. And our lead off verse is John chapter 8, verse 12. And the word of God says, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, our author today is Mark DeHaan, and he goes on to write, we remember Albert Einstein as the genius who changed the way we saw the world. Through his special theory of relativity, he, he reasoned that since everything in the universe is in motion, all knowledge is a matter of perspective. He said the speed of light is the constant by which we can measure space, time, or physical mass. Long before Einstein, Jesus talked about the role of light in understanding our world, but from a different perspective. Hallelujah. To support his claim to be the light of the world, Jesus healed a man who was born blind. That's uh, chapter 9, verse 6. When the Pharisees accused Christ of being a sinner, this grateful man said, Whatever he is, whether he is a sinner or not, I do not know. One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. Amen. While Einstein's ideas are difficult to test, Jesus' claims can be tested. When we can spend time with Jesus and the Gospels and invite him into our daily routine, we can see for ourselves how he changes our perspective on everything. True story. And guys, you already know where I'm going with this one. That's why I continue to repeat how critical, how important, how vital, how much of our duty it is to get in the word of God every day, the word of God, the Bible, that is Jesus from cover to cover, from Revelation, to Gen from Genesis to Revelation. It's all Jesus, everything in there. Jesus is all through scripture. You know, it says in John that uh, the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. In the beginning was the word, the word was God, and the word was with God, and the word was God. That, that's Jesus. Jesus is the word, and that's the Bible. And he is the light. Jesus is a lot of amazing things, a lot of amazing things. Einstein, yes, I was an intelligent man, but he wasn't Jesus. You know, I, I don't recall hearing any stories where Einstein healed the blind or the lame or the lepers or the, the you know, the, the, the deaf, the ear. And I could go on and on the miracles that Jesus did. But Jesus, you know, Jesus is so much more than what we realize. And he even says, you know, he came here to show us these things and do these things as an example. I've said this before. And then what he tell us, he said, you too can do these things and even greater. There's something to think about, these uh, guys. Well, Jesus is uh, just a perfect example of what we're called to do, how we're supposed to act. And it's just uh, getting in that word every day, I believe, is what you need is the food we need to boost our faith up to the level it needs to be. I mean, guys, it's time for uh, it's time for us to be laying hands on people, laying our hands and letting the blind see and the, the deaf hear and the lame walk and raising the dead. Guys, I know it sounds absurd and far fetched, but are you saying that God doesn't stick to His word? That God's word isn't true? Uh, I would uh, be careful about saying that. It's all throughout Scripture, guys, and it's just it's what you know. It's what 
God has given us this responsibility to do. That's what Jesus came for so much more to just forgive our sins. And we said this, but, uh, you know, again, just get alone, read the scriptures. Don't take my word for it. Get in the word by yourself, get alone with God by yourself, have him reveal these things to you. Again, guys, with the internet, with technology, Google it. Just type in what miracles did Jesus do or just Google, can, can I perform miracles and read what Jesus says we can do? I'm willing to stick with his word. Um, so, guys, Jesus is the light. And uh, like like our, our, our leadoff verse says, John 8, 12, you know, Jesus spoke again. It says he spoke again to the people. I mean, if I, I love Jesus, man. He had to be getting frustrated. But Jesus has patience. He is patience. And what did he say? He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever, whoever follows me, follows me. Whoever follows Jesus will never walk in darkness, never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So guys, how do you follow Jesus? We get in the word of God every day and we study on it. We meditate, we eat it, we digest it. We just let that seed take root in our hearts and just, uh, we just, we just grow every day, guys. So another beautiful one, uh, the title cracks me up, Einstein, intelligent man, but not even close to my Jesus, guys. So, so thank you for joining me today, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing what God has to say to us tomorrow. So until then, God bless you guys. I love you all.